In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a response to the work of Henrietta Harris, an artist who creates distorted, warped, contemporary portrait, which illustrates that we as human beings are more than what is seen at face value. To do this, we're going to use Photopea or Photopea, which is a free digital editing software and it's on a website, photopea.com. It's totally free and it works very similarly to the Photoshop program that you might be used to using in school or at university. So I'm going to click on here. I've already opened it. So I've opened Photopea and in order to do this, I'm going to open my file. It's a photograph of me. So I'm going to go to file open. It's in my downloads. Um, I think I'll pick, I don't know, which one will work best? Probably this one. OK, so here we've got a photograph of me and we are going to release this from the background. So if there was a little padlock here, you would double click on that. But it seems to be free and I'm going to click on the find and I'm going to just type in liquify. And I'm going to zoom out. So using control and the um, minus button, I'm just going to zoom out. OK, so here you can see we've got uh, the cursor, which is a certain size at the moment. Now, if you take a look at your keyboard, you will see there are some square brackets um, next to the P or what is on my computer. It might be slightly different for you, but the square brackets are what you can use to either make your cursor bigger or smaller. So you can try that out for yourself. Now, I'm going to make my um, eyes sort of blend away. Um, so I'm going to make them about this cursor about the same size as my eyes. So about there. And I am going to hold down the left mouse button and I'm going to drag a clock cross. I'm holding this down and you can see this is sort of melting my face away. There we go. So. Um, now I'm going to do the same in the other direction, but I'm going to start from maybe here now. So I'm going to hold down and edit it there. And again, I'm just going to okay. So that would count as one response. I am going to click OK to say that I'm OK with that. So to save that, I'm going to go to File. You can save it as Photoshop if you've got Photoshop on your on your computer already, um, or you can export it as any one of these files. I'm going to export it as a JPEG to save to my computer. I'm going to click Save, and that will go into my downloads. So there it is on my computer. Now, because I am a studious student, I'm going to do a second version and maybe even a third version. So I'm going to go to open and I'm going to open that same picture again and I'm going to do a few other versions. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to use Photop to create a Henrietta Harris response for your coursework. Um, I hope that it's useful to you. It can be useful to do some copies which are not as relevant to others so that then you can discuss that in your reflections or your annotations to say why some of your responses work better than others. That will help you to show your understanding that bit better as well. Here we've got this one works quite well. That one does not really work. I'd say that's kind of more of a Picasso kind of response actually. And this one works as well. Um, but you know, if you like to paint eyes and facial features, that one might be the best result uh, for a final piece if you were going to look to do a response for a final piece. So have fun.